Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Save For Real 757. I am out here in this VA weather. It is Saturday. I believe it's June the 15th. I don't know what day it is, but it's June. And it is Saturday. It is about, uh, what time is it? it means, I'm going to tell you what date it is, too. It is June the 16th. Tomorrow's Father's Day. So happy early Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And it is 9.34 in the a.m. My husband and I, we are out today. We are having a family cookout. My children are in town. Well, they're not in town. One is here and the other one and my granddaughter is on there on their way as we speak right now. Praise the Lord. So we are out. We're going to pick up the grill. We have still some more condiments and some a little bit more food that we have to pick up. And so I just want to say hey to everybody, but listen, what I really, really, really want to do is tell everybody we made it. We made it. We made it to the thousand more subscribers. Hey, 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 we made it. Thank you, Jesus. We made it. Thank you, Jesus. We made it, made it, made it, made it. We made it. We made it to God be all the glory. Let me tell you, with all things, with all things are possible with God. There are all things are possible with God. And you don't even have to compromise to succeed in life. You don't have to lay down your faith for anybody to succeed in this life. I give God the glory. So we are out shopping. Well, we are out today. We are for right now. We are at the bank. My husband has to go and he went in the bank because the chip on his card is not working. So he's going to see if they can give him a replacement card right away. So, you know, we can do some swipe, 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 swipe. Swipes right. But hey to all of my subscribers. Hey to all of my new subscribers. I see each and every one of you. Again, I do want to apologize for the long delay and not posting anything. I told you, I told you once again. I'm gonna tell you again that whenever I do that, it's only because ministry come first. Praise the Lord. But let's guess what, y'all. Oh, I went and got my nails on yesterday. Tell me what you think. Let me see if y'all can see it. Oh, there you go. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see the diamond, but this is the other hand. This is my other. Let's see, focus. There it go. Woohoo! There it go. And let me show you this hand again. And then this is this hand. Excellent job. She did my feet. Oh my goodness! She did my feet. Oh my goodness! I'm going back to that. That's that's gonna be my new nail place. Thank you, Jesus. But when I tell you it costs an arm and a leg, but it's worth every dime. Cause when I tell you she massaged these feet whew, and my leg, oh my god! But anyway, y'all, I'm out here. I don't, you know, I ain't got all that on this morning. Got my hair done though, but because we out here early, we haven't even dressed for today. We just out here. My husband got a haircut. He didn't came back. Now we out. Now he had to come back and home. Come back to the house, pick me up. My daughter is at my house waiting. She's waiting to start prepping the food, but we got to go finish getting the food. <clears throat> my her and my husband gonna cook. My other daughter's bringing a banana pudding. My other daughter, you know, she, you know, we got everybody. You bring this, you do this, you do this. So, of course, and we're excited. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't you ever hear me, and I'm just gonna help everybody. Don't you ever be afraid to talk about God. Don't you? If they can talk about their God, you can talk about your God. People going to make a reason as to why they don't go to church, why they don't serve your God, why they don't worship God, why they don't do this, why they don't pay their tithes, why they don't pay their offering. I don't care what their reason is. Don't you follow behind that foolishness. Read the word of God. What does the word of God tell you? The reason so many people are what you call the Bible, what the Bible called lukewarm is because they want to do things their way. You can't do things your way and call yourself a child of God. Because if you are a child of God, you, you, you're going to have to follow the blueprint that he has set for us, which is his word, which is the Bible. Now, just like we were in our parents' home, when our parents, when our father told us that, that, that we couldn't do this or we couldn't go here, we couldn't, we didn't go. Because we knew the consequences was punishment. Well, that's just, just like serving God. There are certain things that you have to do in order to remain under the umbrella of God's protection and safety. Where when you was in your father's and when, when you when you live under your parents' house, they told you what you could not, couldn't, could and could not do because you were under the umbrella of their protection. Come on, somebody, talk to me now. And so it's so ironic how people out here and they say, "Well, I don't care what the church say. I don't care what people say. I'm, I'm a do maybe I'm a, you know, yeah, and you and you're not gonna tell me that God ain't forgive me and God ain't." Okay, 
Okay. But whatever you do, man, my to all of my spiritual children out here, whatever you do, don't follow down behind those people. Because little do you know, you're going straight to hell. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there for you, baby, because people don't like the truth. People don't like the truth. People do not like truth. I'm talking about secular people some, and some folk that call themselves the children of God. You, they don't like truth. People don't like truth. You know why? Because truth dispels darkness. Truth dispels darkness. A lot of people don't like the truth. So I came here to tell, tell you on today. My husband is getting in the car. Come on, baby. Come on, get in. The camera's not on you, honey. But anyway, so I'm telling you, don't you dare not worship God and pray and pr and praise our God. Listen, he is our creator. He's our provider. He's our strength. He's our strong tower. He's our deliverer. He's our everything. But what I'm trying to tell you on today, listen, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And somewhere along the way, a lot of people, they are missing their joy because you have given your joy. You have, you, you have allowed somebody else to come and snatch your joy. You used to worship God. You used to praise God. You used to live upon God. And, and you had so much peace and you had so much joy. But now you find yourself struggling in everyday life and you find out why am I so unhappy why do I feel depressed why do I feel lonely why do I feel this why do I because you allow somebody to come along and steal your praise and it, it was in your praise that God was being glorified and it was in your praise that your joy had what was being increased Come on, somebody. And I just want to encourage somebody listen get go we need to go back to our first love. Our first love. Go back to our first love. Uh -huh, Walmart. Let's go Walmart. Our first love, since we can go in and get them some food and whatnot. She just went straight, straight across and instead of turning, it's right there. All right, I'm sorry, baby. You got it. He got it. He got it. He always say, I'm trying to tell him how to drive, which I am. He's a good guy, boy, but y'all should see him, boy. He done got that hair cut, boy. Look at that hair. I'm trying to get a little, look, little, no, I ain't gonna mess with him, but he look good, yeah. God is good. But anyway, I, so that's what we out here doing. We're gonna go to Walmart. And then after Walmart, we might have to, it depends on if we, if we don't find the grill that we're looking for. We're going to go to Lowe's, which is right across the room, right here. Anyway, I just want to say hey to everybody. I don't have nothing to talk about. I am so excited. So, uh, we out here. And he keep hinting about Father's Day, so I think I might bless him for Father's Day. Look at him, he's smiling now, boy. Boy, he trying. Look at him. Look at him. Look, he trying to turn his head all the way out the one. He don't want me to see him smiling. He's so, he's so happy because he was like, well, honey. Well, you know, Father's Day. Y'all got to forgive me. Well, Father's Day. Well, Father's Day. Well, Father's Day. I want to say so bad, baby. You ain't my daddy. I'm just messing with it. You know how you love to mess with your spouse just because you can. That's what this is about. But anyway, of course, of course, of course. But listen, we made it to a thousand subscribers. The giveaway rules are this. Hear me again. You must be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Okay? You must, in the comments, tell me what you are thankful to God for. Just tell me whatever you're thankful for God for that's between you and God. And then beside that, just hit enter me. That's all it takes. Enter me. Enter me. And you will be entered into the giveaway. Um, haven't decided what the prizes are, but I will show you what the prizes are between now and next. Let me see. This is the weekend, so I will close. This will be closed out. This giveaway will be closed out Tuesday. I'm closing the giveaway out Tuesday. You can enter as many times as you want. I'm going to let my granddaughter choose the winners so that won't nobody say I cheated. But I'm not going to cheat anyway. But um, what else? Um, oh, this is another stipulation. You have to have been subscribed to my channel before Saturday, June the 16th. It is 9.43 in the... What is it? 9... Let me see. It is... 9.43 in the morning. So you have to have been subscribed to this channel before that time. If you subscribe after 9.43 in the a.m. Saturday, June 16th, you will not be entered into this contest. Because that's just showing me that you wanted to, uh, you came to my channel to just, just enter to the contest. 
But you are more than welcome to subscribe. And then perhaps you can win with the next contest. God bless you all. And thank you once again. God brought us all the way to a thousand subscribers. God, God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you tonight. Until next time. Bye-bye.